Hey guys, we're back with S. This is a double page, and um, I already had some of this uh, plastic needlepoint uh, sp sprayed with black on the right-hand side of the page, so I figured I might as well just keep going with it. So I'm just using dilutions, and I'm spraying through it in some areas, and then using what's resting on top of that plastic to press down on other areas. Um, so it gives a couple of different looks. Um, pretty much this whole page is done with uh, sprays and stencils, uh, so because they're both S's. So this is really more about techniques, um, like some of the basic techniques in art journaling. So this is a grill topper. Again, I got this from, I think, Albertsons a year or two ago. Um, I know some of you said you haven't been able to find it. I got lucky. Uh, I love this thing. So yeah, I'm using three different colors of dilutions right now. I'm using... Uh, Pure Sunshine, Orange something, and Lemon Zest, and uh, Squeezed Orange, that's it. And uh, just spraying the three to create kind of an ombre, and then I'm flipping it over and again stamping with it, and there was some, I guess, blue or something, because it created like almost a green uh, stamp when I did that. So these are kids' blocks. I got these at the thrift shop here in Vegas. I got a massive bag of these. There's probably a hundred of these easily. Um, and so I just set them down to act like a stencil on the page and then sprayed with blue over the top. Um, gosh, these are awesome. I put, I glued some foam onto one of them to create my own hexagon stamp and I created an iCAD uh, that I posted on Instagram with it. It's really cool. So again, I just did that down there, and then I'm pulling them off, and since there's still so much ink sitting on top of that, um, I decided to push it down onto another page. Um, so this is the X page that I have not started. I'm just spraying it down with water. I wanted a very loose hexagon form. I don't mind that they're not perfect. Um, I just wanted to get some, some of that color off and not waste it. So uh, that was London Blue uh, Dilutions, by the way. So I'm just stamping them off. These get a better stamp with the foam on them because the foam has some give. Um, and with the wood, uh, it just kind of smushes and what touches, touches and what doesn't, doesn't. So um, I like my foamy stamp better for actual stamping. But this this was still great because, like I said, I was able to use it as a stencil and a stamp. So start looking at you know some of your old kids' toys or go to the thrift shop and find stuff like this. Um, these have so many uses, plus you can glue them down onto a canvas piece, gives really a lot of dimension, because they're probably a good quarter inch thick. Create your own stamps, I mean, there's just so much you can do with these. Um, they had a couple other ones, and I'm kicking myself for not getting them, because the entire bag was $2, and I'm kicking myself for not getting it. But my wife gave me a budget, and I wanted to stick to it, so I did. So there you go, that's the X page started for you, and I'm not entirely sure why I didn't cut this uh, drawing footage out for you, but there you go. So here we are back to the S page. I'm really liking these colors. You know you know me, these are not my typical colors, and I don't end up adding any red or pink or purple to it, so these are pretty much the colors that are going to be on this page. But I, I like them, they, they came out really cool. I love that the blue and the yellow, when they mix, they make that really cool, almost uh, kind of aquatic green. It's, it's kind of teal, but not really teal. Uh, it's more green than it is teal. So I really should have cut that all out for you. My apologies. But guess what? I got to talk to you. So this is another grill topper. I found this one at the dollar store, and I'm spraying through it with the white linen dilutions. Um, and it just gives a little ghosted effect because it's semi-opaque, so it pulls up some of the pigments. Now I am using neon orange and neon yellow paints. These are acrylic paints, and I'm mixing the two together because individually they weren't right, but together they end up being the right color. That being said, because the dilutions are water-reactive and these acrylics are water-based, they don't show up that color at all in the end. Let me look at it while I'm sitting here talking to you. Yeah, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, they actually look green um, because the acrylic paint ended up tinting the di uh, the dilutions tinted the acrylic paint. You know what I mean. So I'm just using bubble wrap to stamp. Um, 
I'm actually okay with how it comes out. I wish it were a little bit more vibrant because I would have liked to have pulled that those bright, intense yellow and orange colors into the other parts of the page. But um, it ends up giving a lot of good visual background interest and texture. We sure say that a lot of us art journal people. Texture, texture, texture. Like, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh, my nose. <laughs> I love the Brady Bunch. Okay, so I am using a uh, bath tissue, because it's trashy to say toilet paper, uh, roll, even though I just am trashy because I just said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm just making some circles. Again, everything turns green. See? Look at that green. These are big old stickers I got at the dollar store. I got this entire sheet. It's double-sided with these big stickers, and I love them. I've been waiting for the right uh, project to use them with. So I really like this, but I don't like the Carpe Diem. I mean, I do. I like that phrase. Um, but I didn't want that for this page, so I end up covering it up. Can you believe I got these at the dollar store? Seriously, the dollar store. The Dollar Tree, to be specific. So if you go to the dollar store, uh, look in, I think, where did I find them? It's, it's in the toy aisle. It's toward the back in mine anyway. And um, they have all these stickers I have weed stickers like dandelions and stuff and I have some butterflies and I, I've just been saving all of them because I've been waiting for the right project and this one was perfect. These colors look good together and I, I was happy. So and Then I got out a couple of tags I had sprayed with Dilusions forever ago and they've just been sitting in my drawer and I wanted to use them. This would be my wife. Let's see. She's probably done getting her hair. Let's see. Yep, that's her. Hey babe, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Told you. Are you on your way home? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm finishing up my uh, recording, so can I call you back? Yeah. I'll call you back in just a few. I'm almost done. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. So, yeah, sorry about that. I knew she was going to call right in the middle of recording. But, oh, well, there you go. You get to hear my wife. So, um, so what I did, by the way, since I was talking to my wife and not talking to you, was I wrote in white and then I sprayed water onto a barbed wire stamp just to give some background texture because these are dilutions, they react. And then I'm using Right Persimmon Distress Ink with a script stamp just to give a little bit more uh, interest in the background. And now this is forest moss going around the edges just to frame it out a bit. So, yeah, I got caught up. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh... All right, so yeah, still framing this. And then I had to end up going back over the white pen because the water pulled up some of the white and then the uh, the stamping ended up changing some of the color. So I went back over it with the white and then just added little curly tails at the end. And that's pretty much it for that tag. Then I'm just adding some tissue tape. Uh, this is Tim Holtz tissue tape, just to give a little bit more interest. I mean, no real reason. I just felt like I wanted to add something else. So when I put it down in the bottom corner, sorry, I'm out of frame. I cannot wait to get my new camera. I know I've said this a thousand times, but should be here Monday. Should be here Monday. Today is Saturday. It's the 27th. I'm going to start scheduling my videos hopefully a bit, about a week apart. Um, I'm hoping to get a whole bunch of videos, like I said, done before school so that they can just keep trickling out while I'm in school and um, I don't really have to worry too much about it. It's hard for me, though, to have videos done and not be able to talk to you guys about it, so. But if I put them all up at once, then you'll watch them all at once and then forget all about me, and that's just not cool. So. I'm using my Fabri-Tac just to glue this down. And this is a little bit of walnut stain just around the edges, just to frame it in. That and that tag was a little grungy, and the stickers were a little grungy, so I figured the page should be a little grungy. But I still love the colors on this page. I think this came out so much fun. So right now I am using my tiny attacher just to staple um, the tissue tape down. I didn't want to mod podge it because everything on this is water reactive, so I didn't want anything moving. 
So I just stapled everything down um, just to make sure that that tissue tape is not sticky like at all. So yeah. Now I'm just taking my white pen and uh, framing this tag out a little bit. I thought it blended a little too well. I liked that it matched, but I didn't like that it was blending so much. So I'm just very quickly sketching around the outside and then right along the edge of that tag as well, just to just to give it a fun, funky edge. And that's it, y'all. S page is done. Done. S is in the bag. So spray, stencil, stamp, stick, start. Those are all, all the rules for S's. Get to work in. All right, guys. I will see you all soon. I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, comment, dislike, all that jazz. See you soon. Bye.